welcome students to tutorials point so till now we have created domain models and we have scaffolded our controllers based on those models so the next step is to seed our database which basically means that we need to go and have some data into the database for us to get started with working with the model and that's what we will do in this demo let's seed our database so what do we mean by seeding the database so right now we have created the models which basically represent the data within the database and then we have scaffolded controllers on top of the models but if you see in the database we do not yet have a data okay so basically if you want to test your application you need to have some test data so to get started with testing we are going to do something called as seeding the database so seeding the database basically goes and initializes your database with some test data so to do that go to your package manage controller first so you can find that uh, underneath over here package manage controller or you can go to tools nuget package manager and select package manager console once the package manager console opens what you need to do is first you need to see enable migrations okay so i will talk about migrations in the next video tutorial so for now just know that if you enable migrations what web api will do is it will create a folder called migrations and it will add a file called configuration file and within the configuration file we will basically go and add our code for basically seeding the data with test data okay so you see that on the right side we have a folder called migrations again i will talk about migrations in detail in the next video tutorial so for now just know that we are going to use something called as code first migration okay and once it is done it will show this particular uh, uh, cursor blinking next to something called package manager okay so let's go to migrations folder and if you see in the migrations folder it has added a configuration file okay and basically it is inheriting from db migrations configuration and it, it is typed of that context and it has a method called seed Okay. and it is in this method seed we are going to basically add our uh, code for seeding the data okay and if you see this method seed it is been dependency injected with the app context okay so this is the object that our application will use to talk to a database while inserting the seeded data okay so this is slightly different from uh, what we uh, may have done in the past in the sense that if the seed method wants to uh, talk to a database it is it was the methods responsibility to create an object of type context and um, basically talk to the database but this is dependency injection okay where the dependency called context for the seed method is been injected into the seed method rather than the seed method explicitly going and calling uh, this particular object okay so it's making use of something called as a dependency injection so what i will do is i will remove this code okay and i have the code already um, created for basically adding the model okay for adding the uh, seeded data so basically we are getting a lot of uh, red squiggles uh, that's basically because we have not imported the namespace so i will click on this and i will say using demo app dot models so once i do that all the red squiggles should go away okay so let's see what i have basically done i have basically used the context object and uh, i am using the employees variable within the context object and basically what i am doing is i am saying add or update new employee objects so i am basically adding employee objects over here and then i am adding office objects over here okay and that's it i am not doing anything else okay so in the next video tutorial what we will do is we'll talk about migrations first and then we will see how the data over here gets added 
to the database. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.